Boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to do some questions for the third grade math test. I would like to tell you not to be nervous for this test. It is just one day, do your best. Actually, it's a three-day test, but just do your best. Your teachers have prepared you for this test and you are all ready to take it. I would just like to give you some extra tips that maybe can help you to do better. So let's look at question number one now. Question number one says, what number is 804? Boys and girls, if we look at the first one, it's 84. This said 804. So 84 cannot be the answer because there is no hundreds column. B says, B is our answer, 804. Because nowhere 804 was there a tens column. If I was to write it as hundreds, tens, and ones, it said 804. There was no room. It did not say tens column. If I was to look at C, and again do hundreds, tens, and ones, it says, C says 800, the next number is in the tens column. And we read that 4 tens is 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. So that cannot be. 84 was an easy C. Now if you look at D, it says 8,004. Up here it says 800. So there was no room for the thousands column. So the correct answer is 804. When you bubble in on your answer sheet, you all know this by now, bubble in carefully. If you need to erase, erase completely. But this is something you all know.